And that's good head movement. Because we always want to be moving ahead. Because that head's always moving. And Mike Tyson was really good at that. That head always moving, right? And uh, there was another boy that had the neck. Well, we talked about the older guy. We were talking about him. I can't think of his name. Uh, Chavalo. I believe I'm pronouncing it right. George Chavalo. And he's fine today, and he's 80, 78 or 80. Talks clearer than I do. But of course, you know, I got medical issues, but uh, the, the, he can whoo, just sling out eloquently. He's not lost no speech, no nothing. And it's because he built his neck. So, and you're not going to have to worry about that because you're going to be in the United States Medical Academy and moving on to greater things. Hopefully, through the luck of the draw, if the stars line up and the good Lord has the grace on us, if that's what he has in store for you, maybe you pick up an Olympic medal or a Pan Am game medal, something big, and you carry that into the U.S. Naval Academy with you. And it's just something to carry with you the rest of your life, right? Serve for six years after the university, decide you want to throw around and box some, you still be young enough to sling down. And if you're that great and that good, you'll have a couple of years to sling down. You'll be older, but at least you won't be getting your face bashed in for eight years. See what I mean? Or well, I'd be nine years or whatever. But uh, so, uh, well, it'd be eight years. So you. Your future's good. Everything's bright. We can't ask for no better. 3.9, 4.0, every single dog on nine weeks. Uh, you got the look. You got the muscles. You got all the equipment. And you got the smarts. And, you, and one thing we know about you, and this is why we can't get sparring partners, all the chaos, right? And through all that chaos, you have an uncanny ability of someone like a Larry Holmes or a, uh, uh, who's the chess master we say today, uh, Usyk. Uh, you're like, kind of like the mix in between Usyk and Larry Holmes there. You immediately get in and make a lot of sense and a lot of clarity in all that chaos. And the rest of these boys can't do that. So you got a gift there, right? It's a good gift to have. I, if you was pitching a baseball, I'd expect you to be an all around. And I'd have confidence that you could be. If you're throwing a football, uh, you'd be Burt Jones. And I know you probably don't even remember, you know, the old coach quarterback. Because that's the guy that, uh, Bill Belichick, the guy that Coach Tom Brady his whole life said was the best throwing for him. He was a, he was called the Rustin Rifle Burt. He'd be throwing like Burt Jones. And ain't nobody been, I don't give a damn what any team fan says. While he was playing, he was in the Pro Bowl and he was the best. And he was the number one quarterback in the NFL. And that's because he can throw the crowd. And you got, you got, we've done the same what you can do with a football, you know. 13 years old and throwing football 50 freaking yards with accuracy ain't no joke. And Joe, so I don't know, you ain't around these kids in the United States, so you're not seeing how they'd be looking at you, but they'd be like, oh, Joe's the man, he's the man, right? There'd be a lot of respect coming out to you and on you. And I have no doubt when he played basketball, but I believe you'd be a great basketball player. You're just a doggone good athlete. And can't nobody take that away from you. Sometimes those things could be lost to injury. Uh, sometimes we choose to quit doing them, but you're the man, and we need to remember that. And that's why, world, we can't get no sparring partners because nobody wants to touch them. And we're just in here, we're still kind of green. And still got a lot to do on footwork and many other things. Everything. We've got work to do on everything. But the thing is here, 
uh, we're, we're striving for excellence. That's all we're doing. We're not striving for championships. Uh, you just got a daddy that loves his boy and a boy that loves to be an athlete that has chosen boxing and that's what we're doing. And uh, behind every good young man, there's a strong father and don't any of you ever forget it. Don't ever forget it. I'm not saying a boy from a single motherhood home can't be triple heavyweight crown champion of the world. But what I am saying is behind every strong, strong young man, there is a man. And you best believe that. There's always a man. And it's a daddy for those who are thinking straight. We wouldn't be sitting about all these broke homes and horror stories and an athlete making it. If people would just stay married and do what they got to do for their children. So we'll stop it with that. God bless you all. Thanks for watching this video.